Greetings to your community church and greetings to everyone who is part of this service. Uh, this wonderful and beautiful morning. Re Labaramudimu Labaramudimuka Popel or Labaramudimuka Chirile, Joy Billing, what Mugamala Barena Labaramudimuka di Locamuka. Jedi was a jarder lunch on our Labaramudimu Lega last week. You will let you worry. Won't that they say I never will look think I was mistaken. Ne really very well look at my bani. Call a walk home, cousin and the Siavi. Gingwana Rangwanarai. So we were there, Reboloka, and by God's grace, everything went well. Kidu Malaro Bolukerile, Chabas Vesilequa. Sure, yeah, there were so many Baba Nevatile who do. Uh, pay the last respect to their sister, their friend, or our sister, our friend. Yeah, uh, I'm So, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going um ari tsene mo malaetseng wa lekhono today mo malaetseng wa rena re tlo bolala ka two reasons uh, god created man only two reasons god created man gore le baka king wena o le motho o sa phela gore o phela why did god bring you into this world why did god choose to bring you in this world i mean there are those by long worry bapala lo go fitla mo lefaseng eh oba le di conception mo thona pregnant and then body ready miscarriage so ngwana la sa ke opportunity o tla mo lefaseng and then baba ngwe immediately after birth mo thona tlokofala eh ngwana o no tlokofala so why wena modimo a utlisitse mo lefaseng why wena modimo a dumeletse gore o survive pregnancy o belewe o be o phile o gole o fitla mo le ngona why did god create man why did god um, create you why are you on earth the bible tells us about two reasons that god created you for and then but before we can go to reasons, uh, we need to understand what indeed it is God who created you. Because there are theories out there that says evolution it was a result of the chila, the kopana, or whatsoever, and then hosana lele fena le bagona gore se bo se bagona se 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 formaya out of the uh, chila or out of nothing. Agar le fena gore le bagona kire o kasibe kwa school magi we kichi sa school magi we and then o ba le chila kamara kam kamu kichi and then ma fele le fena le formaya so. Kijona ena se bo go se 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 formega ga ona le something ye long gore ya decompose mo nang le go bola go senyega and then se bo go se atwa out of that so le motho they believe gore motho o formula out of that so just like se bo go le mafena ka mogwa create le nka ona so it is not god who created man but man exist because of uh, or as a result of evolution. So, but, Ritlokwa from this holy book, I am going to read from Psalm chapter 100, verse 3. I know that the Lord, He is God. It is He who made us, and we are His. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. It is God. Who created us? We are created by God. We are His creation, and He have He has ownership over us. And then we go to let's go to Genesis. Rekwe, modimo ga 
bolela gore o create le jwa motho Genesis chapter 1 verse 27 it is so God created man in his own image in the image of God he created him male and female he created them ke modimo wa bopile motho ena modimo ga a bopa motho o ba bopile ka o re bopile ka swantšho sa gae and a bopa two genders which is a uh, natural male and natural female i'm saying natural because there is so called transgenders today but to bagi chencha ba itire basadi nje le monna or itire monna nje le mosadi so i'm using the word natural because that's how god created us he created natural men and natural this only these two genders ke tona ti modimadi creatileng ke jeding wetse tse re di kwa mmole fasing i don't know gore tona di tswa kae but god has no part in that so god created two genders so male and female so in other words what i'm saying ke gore we are created by god and we know gore when you create something it belongs to you you have ownership over that thing you do whatever you want with that thing whatever you will with whatever you have created ke for example look a eh erger mercedes benz i'm just giving an example look a koloi mercedes benz whoever eh uh, came up with mercedes benz whoever created this brand Mercedes Benz has ownership over it. Ngas no tsoka today and then ka dira whatever model one na kenya ka ngo dira wa koloi and then e ke fetsa ka inema Mercedes Benz I will be sued for that because it belongs to someone. So le rena jwele ka batho we belong to whoever created us our creator who is God himself. And the question is why did God create us because modimo ga no dira dilo for no reason. God did not create man for no reason. He created us for a reason. And then what are the reasons that God created us? Let's go uh, and read in the book of Ecclesiastes. Because what about pillar mo lefasing and as if uh they own themselves as if they are not creations they don't have someone about them they do as they will and we are creations we are created by god the bible tells us we are created we are not the result of evolution we are created by god we belongs to him we belong to god not uh evolution or whatsoever that uh people think or this people with uh, this evolution uh, theory evolution think or re uh, let's read in the book of ecclesiastes chapter 12 revale verse 13 and verse 14 only verse 13 and verse 14 verse 13 ebala ka tsele the end of all matters all has been heard fear god and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man for god will bring every deed into judgment with every secret thing whether good or evil morawo o dilo di bolelwe in this book ya ecclesiastes solomon the wise man who ever lived morawo wa gore eh anwale ka bophelo in this book ha concluda morao wa bona dilo tshe diragalang ka mogare ga bophelo ka mogo batho ba phelang ka hona outside the will of god and then ha concluda re all those things are vanity whatever is happening a bolla ka mogo eh eh chapter 2 a bolla ka mogo wena a trailing go create joy out of life using the wisdom that god has given to him trying to do things on his own 
outside God. All those things did not give him joy. Life is vanity. Ha level la kamho ba tswa ba khumileng ba oppressa mba di dikaona. Kamho ba shumisha mba tswa ba tlhoka sa bona. Ha level la bophelo, a level la kamho mo di dia sokolang ka gona. And then mo tswa khumileng a nyaka power go go gatelela mo tswa sinantselo. Mafelelo nga conclude hore life is vanity because le mkhumi out of a uh, thinking or he or she will find joy over still long there is no joy there is nothing to gain by all uh, those things that they do there is no joy there is no our life is just vanity they gain nothing out of that so life is vanity mara mora wa hore a bollele ka bophelo a bollele hore le go sa phela you can be respected because of what you have because of what you have gathered ar mara ge we khwa you are forgotten and all that you have gathered ba o ba shetseng they misuse whatever you have gathered and all your efforts are just vanity and then ha tswalla this book of ecclesiastes buka ya botlala ka bophelo re botlhale eh ba bophelo buka ye o rutang ka bophelo gore whatever you do on earth you need to remember gore you are brought in this world for for a reason god created you god brought you in this world for a reason the reason you are still breathing today there is a reason for that and then in this book gore mora wa gore ke discuss dilo ka moka in this book ge ke tswalela are the end of the matter mora wa ditaba are all has been heard because re kwile ka mogare ga bugegeng jerebala re kwile and then ga e tswalela gore for god I mean fear God I told Lauri eh fear God the reason God created men gore men should fear God and keep the commandments of God and then for this is the whole duty of man for purpose clause he is saying the reason God created men the reason man was created or the reason merek wa motho mo le fasing eh motho o diretswe gore a bo ife modimo a be a latele ditaelo tsa modimo there are two reasons are fear god and keep his commandments because for this is the whole duty of men. I wanna nto ngwe modimo o tshirjeng yena mo le fasing. Se modimo o tshirjeng sona ke gore o mmoife o bolatele ditaelo tsa gao tsa gae. These are two reasons God created men. And then verse 14 are for God will bring every deed into judgment with every secret thing whether good or evil. Because we are his creations. If we don't do what he commands us to, there will be judgment for that. There will be punishment because we failing to do his will, failing to fear him and obey his commandments. You are being disobedient. You are rejecting your creator and there must be punishment. He is a just God. He must punish us he must uh, uh, punish us for or judge us for not doing his will on earth so these are the two reasons and now we are going uh, to check Hore, what does it mean to fear god what does it mean to obey the commandments of god how can you fear God? How can you best fear God? And how can you obey his commandments? These are the, the th uh, two reasons we are going to discuss. Before Ritzana, uh, dis uh, on discussing these two reasons, let's go to God in prayer. 
modimo a go loka re a go leboga papa wena o lokile wena o modimo o mopua rena morena o tletse ka lerato re a go leboga le mo jatjeng la le khono re phagamisha lina la gao re bolala bogolo ba gao re 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 rute morena modimo a ka lentšu la gao re rute go boifa re rute go latla itaelo tsa gao go ba modimo on our own we can't we need you re a leboga papa in Jesus name amen let me start by giving the example yeah martin luther um, because discussing these two reasons fear god and obeying uh, his commandments because that's uh, what we are going to discuss these are the two reasons why god created man he created man that he may fear him and may obey the commandments of god martin luther before he understood uh the, the message of salvation before he understood the bible um he had this idea the negative fear because he thought by fearing god eh motho tswantse ha bele this go thuthumela ga anana ka modimo god is this um cruel and evil monster eh ye long worry it is waiting for man to sin or to wrong him so that he can punish them that's how he viewed god before he had access to this book before he understood the message in this book before he understood salvation before he was saved he ba bona modimo jo leka a monster we long worry o phela le re di a tshwere sabola a emetse motho gore a dire phosho gore a gona mo panisha but after as na bala eh the message of the gospel i understand that our modimo ke mang then a tlapolwelwa le ntjula modimo la mmula mo gopolo le pelo he understood gore what does the fear of god mean because the true fear of god means to give respect to give honor to give respect and honor as god of great glory majesty purity and power so in other words you fear god because you respect him you understand who god is he is your creator he is above you he is the one who sustains you you exist because of him fearing him means respecting him honoring him mm? you understand his power you understand who god is you understand you cannot exist without him you cannot breathe without him you cannot walk without him you cannot eat without him everything you are is him until martin, martin luther understood that he had the negative fear so fearing god it just means simply means to honor and respect god we need to respect him we need to honor him because he is god of all power he is our creator he's the one who sustains us the reason we breathe this oxygen is because god is providing this oxy oxygen to us the reason we are eating the reason we have what we have is because god is giving all these things to us I mean if God can decide to take the oxygen away we will all die. He sustains our lives. Everything that you are, everything you have is because of him. That is why you need to respect him. You need to honor him. You need to praise him. Fear of God means respect and honor to God. Let me give this illustration. You know the Israelites were the most stubborn nation. Le ge ntse ba tse ba modimo ba bona eh tse di botse tse modimo ba direlang tsona they would always attempt to you know to test him they would attempt to do things that are against the will of God. So 
even though they have seen the great things that God has done to them, they have seen the power of God, who God is. And then, you can't meet God alone and when I we want to see him. And then Mudimur, okay, let's make an appointment. Tomorrow, Ritlokopan, Exodus chapter 19, verse 16. Arebale. Tomorrow, Mudimur, Ketata. When I hope get the Israelites, Mohausule Tawaya, the Mount Sinai. And then I will come and meet them there. Verse 16, Arebale. Chapter 19, verse 16. On the ma on the on on the morning of the third day there were thunders and lightnings and a thick cloud on the mountain and a very loud trumpet blast so that all the people in the camp trembled then Moses brought the people out of the camp and to meet God and they took their stand at the foot of the mountain. Uh, now Mount Sinai was wrapped with smoke because of the Lord had descended on it in fire. The smoke of it went up like the smoke of a, a king and the whole mountain treb trembled greatly. As, and as the sound of trumpet grew louder and louder, Moses spoke and God answered him in thunder. The Lord came down on Mount Sinai to the top of the mountain and the Lord called Moses to the top of the mountain and Moses went up. Okay, let's go to... Um, Chapter 20, Rwale, 18 and 19. Now when all the people saw the thunder and the, and the flashes of la lightning and the sound of the trumpet and the mountain smoking, the people were afraid and trembled and they stood far off and said to Moses, you speak to us and we will listen but do not let God speak to us, lest we die. Moses said to, to the people, Do not fear, for God has come to test you, that the fear of him may be before you, that you may not sin. The people stood far off uh, while Moses drew near to the thick darkness where God was. So when Israel saw all these things that Hemudimu and Atorela Motabin Yasinai, Baby Larry, they trembled in fear. This was the negative fear that they had. But Moses Rabba Hotas or Mobanore, Lesikela Chura, Cheka Mogamudimu Udi Direla Hore, Le Moife. No, they must respect him as a God of power. God, uh, their creator. They must honor him. This, all these things. Because we want to meet God. Why you want to meet God? always. Ako pana luwe na ulite. Le rina rina ka kumona mudimu. Rina ka uko pana liena. So, ewe e tuoma ukari. Ba tuoma kutela mudimu. And then mudimu wa wancha kore. This is who I am. I am your God. But you need to respect me. You need to honor me. So, and then my fellow long. Heba tuoma ba wana. Che uka mkache u diba chushang. Ba rimu mwisi ba rinono no no. Arbus chelulo back to uh, where they were. And now we will deal with you, Moses. Reka kwa from where? Now when out kwa mumu di mu, you will continue being our mediator. We don't want to meet God because we will die. I mean, seeing God who is holy. Who can see God and live? You know? 
because he is God. They are now treating him as a holy God, God who is holy. They are giving him that respect and honor. This is what God wanted. And they are fearing him with a positive fear of God. They are honoring him. They respect him. They treat him as, a, as, as God who is holy. They understand who they are and who God is. That is why they give him that space. Urbana, Moses, deal with God because he chose you. Rena, we will follow you. We will follow God through you. We will do whatever you say we are to do. Whatever God says we are to do through you. They now give respect to God. Because this is a good fear of God. They now know who God is. They now honor him. They now give him respect. So this is the arrangement. But now they understand who God is. And then they are doing what God uh, intended. So, and it was not the time for that. So, this is the positive fear of God. So now they respect and honor God. They give, him, they give him that respect that he deserves. And the fear of God, the positive fear of God, brings obedience. Our second reason, because the Bible says we are created to fear him and obey his commandments. So fearing God, it means we need to give him respect. We need to honor him. We need to treat him as a, a, our holy creator, our holy father. That's how we need to do. And then number two, we need to obey him. How can we best obey God? What does it mean to obey? We need to obey him because we are created to do that. I mean, if you don't know what uh, Obedience, we are created to obey him. I mean, you will not obey. In order for you to fear God and obey him, you need to know, you need to know what it means to fear God, what it means to obey God. So now, obedience simply mean uh, simply mean uh, to submit to the authority of of someone. So as God is our creator, we need to live to submit to the authority of God. Let me give you an example. Whatever, I mean, we know today, Mudimu Wallalerena through this book. In the old days, and during Nagoya Old Testament, Mudimu Nia Wallalerena through the prophets, like Mo Moses as Kifecha Wolela or Moshebe Aji Edita Vakum Mudimu Aditisha Kobatu. This is how God communicated with his nation. So today, Mudimu, the Bible is compiled. Mudimu de Rilogore, Obe Lidi Wule, the Kamaraka Bible, Bangwadi, Kamaraka Bible, and then this book, Enwadilwe, Efedij. And then it is compiled. Uh, so this is how God communicates with us today. Like he used to in the Old Testament. With audio voice, with visions, with dreams. Like he used to in many ways. He's no longer doing that. Today, because and then he continues to talk through his book. Hebrews Serialo. Hebrews chapter one will la joa ler mudimu chale chalo bule chile bon data warena se warena through many ways and through the prophets. But today he is he has spoken to us through his son Jesus Christ. So and we know who Christ is. The Bible says in the book of John chapter one, Erekilin Chu. So this is how God communicated with us today. He communicated. Uh, communicated through Jesus Christ. So this is how we are to uh, know how to obey. This book, T 
teaches us how to obey God. You cannot obey God. Also, to make a polo you need to begin with salvation. There is no way you can obey God because chapter thirty six. Verse 26, so tell you, I will salvation, how he will save Israel. Oh, well, Lord, this is what I will do. Get on Chadi Pelo. I will like the new covenant. Or get on Chadi Pelo. I will like salvation. Di Pelo Chama Kapa. Kalo Kala Pelo Chama. Kachela Moya Wako Mokhetwa. Kaba Dira Gore Balate Lady Taylo Chaka. Kika Mokho Mudimu Adira Gore. Rekhodo Lati Lady Taylo Chakae. Because Mudimu eh, command us through this book. And then we Obey him according to what he says in this book. So this is how you can obey God. It begins with salvation. is nonsense. You can never obey. It is impossible for an unbeliever to obey God. You need first to be saved in order for you to be able to obey God. Mudimu ware honisha to obey him first by saving us and then remudimas nare polosha then we are able to obey to understand this book. We are able to follow what is written in this book to follow the commandments of God in this book. Let's learn from Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ is the perfect example of obedience. Let's go to the book of Philippians. The humility of Jesus Christ. He humbled himself to a point. He did not consider himself God, even though he was God. He took the form of man. I just swan to Samoto. Ah, paranamayamuto. Ah, the incarnation. This is how God how, uh, humbled himself to a point. Mailungwari. He lived by obeying uh, the commandments of his father, the commandments of God himself. This is how Jesus Christ obeyed. Arebaling, Kecha from verse one to verse. Uh, 11. And so, this is what we need to learn. We must learn from God himself. So if there is any encouragement in Christ, any comfort from love, any participation in the spirit, any affection in sympathy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and one mind, do nothing from selfish ambition and or concede, but in humility count others more significant than yourself. Let each of you not let each of you look look not only to his own interest but also to the interest of others. Have this mind among yourself, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, listen to this, Jesus Christ was in the form of God. In other words, he is God. Did not count equality with God. Are a thing to be grasped. This is what we need to learn from him. And then verse 7 are but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant. You are created to serve him. You are a servant to him. So Mudimu 
emptied himself, lowered himself, humbled himself. He took the form of a servant, the lower, lower level. Uturile mustulon saray sabu mudimu atawa aitira. Uh, he 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 lived like a servant. He incarnated a paraletalo, a paranama, yeah, a servant, and then he served. And the natural labor being born in the likeness of man and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. This is how God humbled himself, obeyed, because God was supposed to save man, and he couldn't save man as God. Through everything that man is going through. And then my fellow long, Abola, we, Jole Kamoto, Moleratung la Moto, Aquela Moto, Apolosa Moto. Ah! He had to go through all these things. That is why he emptied himself. He lowered himself. He humbled himself to take the form of a servant. Ah! We need to learn from him. This is how we need to obey. He obeyed. He obeyed to the point of death. I remember how difficult it was. Remember, Morena. The way it was difficult. Mara, he obeyed, even though it was difficult. Ah, my God. We need to learn from God himself. We need to learn from Jesus Christ. He obeyed God to the point of death. We are to do the same. Lega we kira wala kamagare, hasi ya mwese ilongore, hasi katishi, si wima. Mudimu kachwa lepe le kuba mudimu. Itswarel leka murua kuba gaye. Itswarel leka yena. Latela linchula gaye. Oska anyo kodi ralilo jeli nyaka nkwe na because uikira lomo se mo se ulorang aso khati. You don't live for yourself. You live for him. You are created to fear him and to obey his commandments. And then obeying his commandments. Gaira ori you obey only when things are going your way. You need to obey the commandments of God. Mm. I remember Ezekiel, he, the prophet of God. I think I'm wrong, man. I mean to say Hosea in the book of Ezekiel. Or, okay, let's just go to Hosea. Uh, go and marry a priesthood because God wanted to communicate a message to Israel through Hosea. And then Hosea has manganga. You chose me to be your prophet. Now you want me to marry a prostitute. I mean, because God wanted to communicate a message to Israel. The way Israel they are like prostitutes. To Israel. To Israel. They are like prostitutes. Prostitutes. Mudimu wa chiere ukhobeng. Oba chiere jitaisho nchabona. Aba bata mecha mwko yena. Aba khatwa. Aba khapisha. Aba trocha kalitolo cha utura. Ha fecha. Heba fecha. Batu waka mwkare. Ha siye mwsela sabo kheswa. Ba padima. Tene heba padima. Batoma kubwana ke. Masogana ama nchi. And then they just agree 
le masoga nao. They just bata ma ba khosha le bona masoga nao. It's just a picture. So mudimu re because Israel le le re mudimu abe aba dirla di loka moka. They will still find a way ya go disobey mudimu. Ba tshwa mo tseleng ya mudimu ba we shipe the idols. Che le ngore di be di sa ba direle selo. Because it is in the nature of man to disobey. So mudimu o shwimisha hosia jwa le ka se swancho sa eh the disobedience of Israel. Gore Israel ba tswana le mosadi wa le khosha. Hosia zang ga dira manganga. He did as God commanded. He married a prostitute. And I'm a rata. I'm a clogger mela. Lere prostitute ye ebe yifela yi motlogela. Ewe la kostra deng. Ya prostitute. Mudimu biya remwe enare Hosea. Zama ya kostra deng oji ya mosadi ya gao. Hosea obya ye mela. Alata kwa maa kostra deng. Kika mkho mudimari di ranga ona. Lere ilo gore. We are like kwa maa the prostitute. Refela re itwa tsele nya modimo re dira tseo di gatlang ke rena di gatlang rena di dira tseo di nyakang ke nama ya rena re itwa mo tsele nya modimo modimo ga re lakhele matsogo modimo ga re tlogele fela wa re lata jwa le ka ho siya be a lata go ma go strateng a re buse mo tsele nya modimo a re buse he restores a se re itwa mo tsele nya gae this is the love ye o modimo ana go leona for rena we need to obey like Hosea did. He Hosea mudimare lenjun la mudimu mudimare lata mosadi ga o go strateng. Lata le khosha la ga o go strateng. A emella a lata le khosha la ga e go strateng. Le re no tshwanjerele ka mogwane nwe. Ge mudimu a bolela re mokwe re dire se o mudimare re se dire. Hosea was an obedient man. We need to learn from this guy. Let me also use Hezekiel. Hezekiel in the book of uh, Hezekiel chapter 24 verse 15 to 17. This man of God, the prophet of God. I can imagine how painful this was. The love of your life. I am going to take the love of your, your life away from you. Your wife is going to die. This is what I want you to do. Do not mourn her. Do not even cry. But And indeed, Hosea did as commanded. He did as God commanded. The wife died and Hosea never cried. And people were so surprised. After this man loved his wife, the wife is dead, but this man is not crying. Mm. And this was a message to Israel because they were like prostitute. And this is how no one, not even God, will cry for them. Hemudimu asna atlisha Israel. Hosea losing. His wife, he never mourned his wife. He never cried. He did as commanded. More verse 18 where I did as I was commanded. By who? God. So we need to learn from this great servants of God. Jesus Christ himself. Hosea himself. Hezekiel himself. There are so many in the Bible that I can give example of. So, these are the three that I've chosen. We need to learn from them. When God says, this is what you need to do, you are to obey. <sighs> when you read in the book of Psalm, Mudimu ofa Israel how to obey. Let's go to the book of Psalm 119, Romana verse 9 to 13. How can a young man live or keep his ways pure? The question on uh, verse 9, how can a young man keep his way pure? 
go 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 phela bo phela bo holy jwang a christian gore mo christo re e mo a young man mo tlhanka a ka dira jwang go ra gone go phela bo phela bo e bo a pure life life without sin a holy life answer on verse 9 by guarding it according to your word mm. in order for a christian to keep his way pure or anne ale holy as a receive as a senyeje modimo as a disobey modimo you need to guard your way according because by guarding it what is it guarding your way guarding your way according to your word you guard bo phelo ba ga o ditsela tsa ga o re tsela ya ga o ka lentjula modimo gore o yale ka lentjula modimo he modimo are do not you don't he modimo are eh fear me you fear him he modimo are obey my commandments you do that this is the book that will help you to live a holy life to live according to the will of God and then verse 10 with my whole heart i seek you let me not wander from your commandments that minute o thoma o wander from o no re e no re ke dire ke tla go pela tshwarelo morago because ba gona ba tbo dira yoale o re the temptation is too much the tempt i i just want to do this ke tla go pela tshwarelo ka morago ke mo tjuleng tseleng gona and once o thoma it is not it will not be difficult i mean it will be difficult to stop he o tsena o tsene then my fellow long o tella modimo o thoma o no dira ka mogonya ka nka ona gore a modimo wa kushisha mos in order ke senya ke tla tswarelo this is what they do or just o khwetse di bitsa ka go sfapanong already le ge ke dira sebe my this sin that i commit already it is for, uh, forgiven through Jesus on the cross people are taking advantage of the grace of God of the kindness of God hanti the kindness of because ge motho a dira sebe o se nantwe diragalang they think they are getting away with it they, they continue ka magare ga sebe because they know ora wa na already my sins eh uh, are forgiven on the cross like the grace of God ba tsona le ba Israele ba le the Jews ba bona ba bodisha modimo in the book of Romans gore should we sin more so that we may get more grace no 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 it is not like that ge le ru phulushitswe it is not important to find yourself in sin Paul o bolla gore le shole ai le shole la modimo will not must not find him or herself entangled in the things of this world because the duty of a soldier is to please his commander lir na jole ka bana ba modimo our duty is to please our creator the one who created us the one who brought us in this world the one who sustained us god brought us to fear him and obey his commandments once we fail to do that we are no longer uh, the soldiers of christ as soldiers of christ our duty is to fear god God and obey his commandments and you can only do that if you live by this book if you live by doing whatever it's written in here that is doing the will of God you are created to fear God and obey his commandments nothing else your purpose on this earth is to fear God and obey his commandments not to enrich yourself through the needy not uh, to be exalted by people using the word of god lying to people or who create that honor and respect we are not brought in this world for that if it comes yes it's a bonus e tswa mo go modimo but o ska tswa mo tseleng ya modimo go ro credit lo tsheo don't live for those things live for god live to fear him and obey his commandments this is how you can 
obey God. You can obey God by not wandering from his commandments. And I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Wa bona go thoma o sabala lentjula modimo o nya o lentjula modimo le ya tswa mo go wena. Lentjula modimo le ya tswa mo go wena. Eh ga o sa tsebe gore ke eng se modimo anya ka ngwe because in order for you to live according to the will of God, you need to be filled with the word of God. You need to, you must be filled with the word of God. Meditate upon the word of God. Then you will be able to do the will of God. Because behavior influence like whatever you hear whatever you listen to whatever you surround yourself with if o phela la batho ba ileng gore eh o phelwa go bolela kwa sebe o embrace a sebe your life will be like that you will manifest whatever you put in your heart whatever you listen to whatever descend into your heart what so if you live by reading Listening to the word of God, meditating upon the word of God, your life, your manifestation, you will manifest whatever you listen to. You will man manifest whatever you surround yourself with, whatever you ingest. So if Linjula Mudimu is what you ingest, then your manifestation will be obedience. Modimo or mo Joshua, he ana mo kheta gore a ete Israele pele after the death of Moses. Modimo ga mo jilo je Verse 8, darbalem verse 8. Verse 8 do re. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that why should he uh, meditate upon this book? He, he, he now God gives us the reason so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it for then you will have your way prosperous and then you will have good success in order for you to succeed on obeying God or in obeying God in fearing God you need to read the word of God, study the word of God day and night, meditate upon it, then you will manifest the word of God. Your success is found in here. Once you neglect the will of God, reading uh, the word of God, meditating upon the word of God, then there is no way you can obey. Once you neglect this book, then just no worry, you are lost you will not serve your purpose on this earth on this earth so you are brought uh, in this earth to do the will of god to fear god and obey his commandments and we obey the commandments of god by following what is written in this holy book without studying and meditating upon this uh, holy book there will be no obedience we obey whatever is written in this book. So if we want to be successful, we need to fear God and obey his commandments. And by so doing, we uh, will have the rewards because the Bible says um, those who fail, those who reject the word of God are already condemned. So if you fail to do what is right and live by the will of God, you are already condemned. But those who believe in Jesus Christ, those who follow the commandments of God in this book, the Bible says such people will find themselves, will gain for themselves eternal life. They will be given eternal life. So we have a duty. Our duty is to live by obeying the word of God. Failing to do that, we are we are con bringing condemnation on ourselves. So we need to do what is right. We need 
to serve our purpose on earth. We are not brought here to do our own will, but to do the will of the one who has created us. Failing to do the will of the one who has created us, we have failed. We deserve the judgment of God. We will be thrown into the lake of fire. There is nothing other than fearing him and obeying his commandments that God created for. He created you to serve him. He created you to fear him. He created you to obey his commandments. And in doing that, you are blessed. But failing to do that, you are bringing condemnation of, uh, on yourself. So this is our duty. If you find yourself doing your own will, if you find yourself living according to your own will or to the will of people, to the will of your ancestors, not according to the will of God, then just no worry, you are bringing condemnation upon yourself. They can, they are wise and then they can reason with the Bible and listen, you are fooling yourself. Those things will not help you. And God is not going to argue with you. You can argue as much as you like. Failing to obey him, failing to fear him, failing to obey, uh, to believe in his son, then you will find yourself in the lake of fire. You will be judged. You are condemned. He has commanded what he wants us, or he, he needs us to do, and failing to do that, you earn yourself condemnation. You are created to fear God and obey his commandments. You are created to do the will of God. That is why the Bible says, in all that you do, do for the glory of God. Why? Because you don't live for yourself. You live for God. And failing to do that, you are condemned. in the lake of fire. May the good Lord bless you.